students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com so meetings of monetary policy committee were held from 28th of september to 30th of september right some very important uh, decisions were taken in these meetings and that's what we are going to discuss today right so the committee met uh, from 28th of september to 30th of september and the release of fourth RBI's bi-monthly monetary policy statement. So it is a fourth RBI's bi-monthly monetary policy statement for the financial year 2022-23. And the GDP forecast, the GDP estimate has been slashed from 7.2% to 7%. So for the financial year 23, the forecasted GDP is now 7%, down from 7.2%, right? It, uh, it was forecasted as 7.2% in past, but now it has been decreased to 7%. So RBI's forecasted GDP for India for the financial year 23-2023 is 7% now. And the repo rate has been increased by 50 basis point and now it is 5.9%. So the new repo rate is 5.9%. Okay. These two are very important. Okay. The estimated GDP growth rate of India is now 7% for the year uh, financial year 2023. And repo rate has been raised by 50 basis point to 5.9%. And GDP projections of India the real gdp growth for the financial year 2022-2023 is projected as 7 percent as i told you in the previous slides for the second quarter it is forecasted to be 6.3 percent uh, for third quarter 4.6 percent for fourth quarter 4.6 percent for the financial year 2023-24 the gdp is forecasted as 7.2 percent for the next year uh, financial year 23-24 the GDP is forecasted as 7.2%, right? Let's move forward. And the inflation, inflation is projected at 6.7% for the year 2022-2023. For the second quarter, it will be increased to 7.1%. For the third quarter, 6.5%. And for the fourth quarter, 5.8%. And the uh, in the year 2023-24, uh, in the first quarter, the inflation is projected at five percent okay and other key five points withdrawal of accommodation now you need to understand what is the meaning of withdrawal of accommodation what is accommodative monetary policy you need to understand this uh, you know this phrase what is accommodative monetary policy accommodative monetary policy it is a strategy used by central banks where the interest rates are low interest interest rates are very low so what would happen if the interest rates are very low let's say if the interest rate is let's say five percent a lot of people a lot of businesses are going to take loans and let's say if there is a business whose return on investment besides interest is let's say eight percent abc limited this business is going to take the loan right but let's say the interest rate increased to let's say 10 percent now this abc limited is not going to take the loan right so as the interest rate decreases right more people are going to take loans more people are going to take business loans more people are going to take uh, educational loans more people are going to take you know uh, consumer loans so as a consumer loan increases people are going to spend more as a business loan increases employment would increase people would you know people are producing more uh, the overall economy runs faster right so a strategy used by central banks that is aimed at keeping interest rates low in order to infuse more cash in the economy as there is more cash in the economy it will it boosts the growth it reduces the unemployment in the economy that is accommodative monetary policy right and why this particular word in the is in the news why accommodative monetary policy this keyword is in the news because government central banks all around the world they are withdrawing the accommodative monetary policy even the us is increasing the 
rate of interest even in india rate of interest are increasing right so mpc decided to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation in the future you will experience the hike in fd rates you will experience the hike in interest rates of home loans interest rates of consumer loans right that would happen what why the central bank is doing this to control the inflation so what is the goal of central bank uh, rbi in india to control the inflation rate in the range of 4% plus or minus 2% okay so from 6 2 to 6% this is the range that central banks want to maintain right and the foreign exchange reserve of reserve of india has decreased to 5 37.5 billion dollars so it was more than 600 billion dollars just a few months back but now i guess it was 615 billion dollars but now it is 537.5 billion dollar to because the uh, the value of rupee was decreasing and rbi had dollars with them so rbi bought the indian rupee from the market to stabilize the value of indian rupee that is why the foreign reserves of india are decreasing right overall system liquidity remained in surplus so policy rate important one repo rate which has been changed it is 5.9 percent the standing deposit facility is 5.65 percent the msf marginal standing facility is 6.15 percent bank rate is 6.15 percent the reverse repo rate is 3.35 percent so i already told you about the, the the previous one the accommodative monetary policy and now the static uh the mbc it's a six member committee constituted under section 45 zb of uh, RBI Act 1934 and there are six members Shakti Kanta Das, RBI Governors, uh, Shashanka Bhide, Ashima Goyal, Rajiv Ranjan, Michelle Debrata Patra and Jayanth R. Verma. So these are the members, six members of uh, the committee, right? And that was a pretty short lecture students. If you like the class, please subscribe the channel to get more updates install bank exams today mobile app in your mobile devices it's available uh, available on ios as well as on android devices and a lot of free content uh, is available on bank exams today.com we are going to upload uh, this ppt on bank exams today.com as well so stay updated on bank exams today.com as well as on this youtube channel and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye